bottle house or something over there. Pick your spot, I guess. Looks well, pretty amazing, doesn't it? And yet all of this is all mined areas. So we're, um, is this Shaft's Lookout number one or something? Yep. Is that what it's called? Yep. Green Cargo Trail. The Green Cargo Trail number one, which uh, does look pretty special, I've got to say. Look at that white tree over there. Yeah, I think it's painted. As you see, the top of it's not. It's got a rock formation down there as well, of some description. Don't know what's yeah. going on there. Go and have a look. That might actually be nice to see from the drone. Yeah, I actually, oops, I haven't actually looked to see if you can um, put the drone up here or not. Don't know what the rules are about that yet. Um, it's a little breezy, but it'll probably do okay. And what makes this a little bit more special is um, the rays of light coming down from the clouds yeah. there. Where the sun is. A fair bit of effort has gone into to producing this. Bit of graffiti on it too, unfortunately. You getting some good shots from there? I've got a few. It's running low on battery. You're running out of battery. Uh oh. I love the way the greenery is growing between some of these. Yeah. Now there's a bit of a bottle house, bottle house, a bottle house up here. I'm sure I've seen this on something on YouTube somewhere. or something somewhere. No, so we had no idea where it was coming when we started, but this is where. To the lookout and the bottle house. And cans. A little good. Bottles and cans. When you sit in cans and think, we're a long way from cans. Ha uh ha. -huh. Actually, there's quite a lot of cans there. Oh, then they've got the um, fancy bottles at the top. <laughs> well, use what you got. There's been a few beers drunk to build this place, let me tell you. Yeah, mostly VB. It's been a fair bit of VB drunk to build this place. I love their windows. Yeah, I know. It's um, a lot of work, eh? Some interesting stuff up here. Oh, this is called the beer can house. The beer can house, is it? Not the bottle house. Beg your pardon. If you've got this far, you have been photo three times. So small, thank you. <laughs> okay. So, what'd you say? Some of the bottles have still got liquid in them. Right. Oh, so they do. It's amazing how, like, you look at the land here, completely white and dry and dead, and out there, how green it is. So we've got a, got a got a cactus garden going on here. Some of these guys are huge. Oh look at this. So big. I am cheating a bit. This is a 360 degree camera, but I'm just using it in single lens mode, so it's kind of more like a GoPro, which just saves me some editing later on. Look at this one. That's um, that's quite tall. We've hit the Lightning Ridge markets this morning, uh, and I haven't had a coffee yet, so I do this band back looking at some jewellery and whatnot back there on the hunt for a coffee van. There's no coffee van here this morning. She's normally here apparently, but not today. Desperate times call for desperate measures and all that jazz. So anyway, Ampol is just over there. Wish me luck. Oh, coffee machine's busted. <laughs> it's, I'm doomed this morning, aren't I? It's just not gonna happen for me. And anyway, I've made it in the server, I reckon, if I head down this way a little bit. There's some cafes down here. It's uh, what is it, half past seven on a Sunday morning. 
Shouldn't be that hard to find one, should it? All right, this is promising. They look open. It says cafe. All right, the gourmet gecko for the win. <laughs> it was a bit of an effort, more than I thought I was going to need, but uh, we got there eventually. There's um, some really cool, let me try and turn this around without spilling my coffee, uh, murals and stuff over here. Find anything interesting? Far too many. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> This stuff's incredible, isn't it? Yeah. These tunnels go, hopefully we don't get too lost. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> Nostradamus, we've got David up on the left. Yep. And then on the other side. Well, he's up on there, so we just need to keep going. And what's 16? 16 is season one. I found Batman. Oh, no, Dame Edna. Somebody else with glasses. So this is famous faces. Oh, there's John Howard. Probably John Wayne. Don't you worry about that, so that'd be uh, J.B. Orky Peterson. <laughs> that'd be Malcolm Fraser. That'd be The Roof. Yeah, John Howard, Bob Hawke. I guess the big ears is Tony Abbott. Is that supposed to be Kevin Rudd, maybe? Yeah. Julia Gilchrist. Um, Clive Palmer, perhaps? I oh, know this comrade Julia. Okay, so I don't know who that is supposed to be then. One nation, please explain. <laughs> John, Paul, George, and Ringo. Sylvester Stallone, Mick Jagger. I'll be back. Yeah, we know who that is. Jack Nicholson. So according to the map, where are we? 22. 
22 famous faces baby elephant baby elephant no right well 21 is the hallway okay oh duff I keep bumping my head <laughs> kiss my dragon shark and Nemo <laughs> Bruce the shark with Nemo yeah. <laughs> and then we've got a mermaid, a dolphin. What are you looking at here, Michael Jackson? Ooh, gargoyles. So that's Egypt that way. That's the Last Supper. Now we've already been through this. <laughs> we're uh, we're officially lost. So we're back. We're back so that, in Egypt. That way was Egypt. We've seen that. Okay, and that was the giant um, Buddha and stuff there, which is pretty big. Well, Buddha's around the corner. We've been around that loop. Yeah. Down that way is the way to go next. Okay. Yep. Right. This is so. This is new. All right. So that was the the chambers of the Black Hand. Well worth a visit. It was brilliant. Like, that is a hidden gem. Pardon the pun. Hidden. Uh, and gem. Uh, oh. Opals. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the hike up the stairs. Uh, they do have an elevator if you um, you know if you're uh, sort of wheelchair bound or uh, or aren't like is fit enough. Uh, but otherwise, the hike up the stairs is pretty pretty draining if you're not that fit. <laughs> Still a bit puffed. Uh, well worth it though. So behind us is what's his name? Stanley. Stanley the emu. Stanley the giant emu is um, just the other side of the road from the rest area just to the south of Lightning Ridge. Apparently made out of Volkswagen parts. And I guess his legs aren't Volkswagen parts. But um, His eyes I don't think are either. Nah, maybe they not his like eyes. The There's definitely a Volkswagen body there and his beak is a Volkswagen bonnet. Painted by John Murray. That was that um, artist in town who'd done a lot of the murals and stuff in there. Ooh. He'd done a really good job actually. It's, uh, it's Sunday today and the, the gallery was closed when we went past which is a bit of a shame because um, he had some, some nice work. Now, Stanley the Giant Emu, just south of Lightning Ridge. put a decent dent in this with a small cheese platter mm -hmm. and the plowman's lunch mm -hmm. and you had a chardonnay and I had a shiraz which is finished now. Um, that was pretty good. You enjoyed the ham? The ham was divine. <laughs> Best ham you've ever had? Not quite but very close. But, but close. Yeah. No, it's, um, Thick slice perfectly smoked. It was a pretty pretty Yum. good yeah ham off the bone kind of ham. Mm -hmm. Um, these cheeses were pretty good too. The um, that shiraz isn't too bad. I didn't see how much the bottles were, but um, oh, twenty-eight or thirty-two. Are they? Yeah, yeah. I'd be tempted to grab a bottle of that on the way out. That was quite good. It was not uh, not an overly heavy one. Like it's thirty degrees here at the moment. What do they reckon it is? Twenty-eight. Uh, well, the phone's saying twenty-eight, but yeah, it's um, it's pretty warm. Uh, but that was quite good. Um, not too heavy, but a little peppery as well. It was good. The plan is, well, we tried to get, uh, there's, they've got river cruises on the Balone, Baloney, Balone. I'm going to say Balone River, uh, which we booked out and tried to get on. Anyway, I called him and an old mate called me back. Balon, actually. Double N. Double N-E. Yeah, Balon. All right, so old mate said he'd call me back if they had a cancellation. So, you know, a slim chance of a river cruise tonight. Uh, which might be nice at sunset. That'd be good. Um, otherwise, back to camp. Uh, and you've got a dinner idea already. Mm -hmm. um, and then tomorrow morning, we are heading off. I haven't really figured out where tomorrow night's going to be yet. 
I was originally going to be Wakadilla, but I think we might head north after Roma and find a spot somewhere between Roma and Tarun. We will see how we feel tomorrow. Because there's a couple of places we need to visit in town before we leave. So there's our little boutique shop that you saw. Always boutique shops. Got to go. To and now everything's shut on Monday. Where yeah. was the town where, where everything was shut on Monday? Broken Hill, wasn't Broken it? Broken Hill. Broken Hill, everything was closed on Monday. So here in St like, George, dudes, same deal. A lot we're of places only here for a day. Shut on Monday. Well, we're actually, yeah, two nights um, here, luckily. Yeah. So we got to call into this one particular place on the way to town. And there's a cafe called the Farmhouse. Mm -hmm. And it has we were, been recommended. It's been recommended, so we'll be having coffee there on the way out tomorrow morning. As well. Attempting to to clean some of the Monday Monday red dirt off the door. <laughs> you see the the before and after difference. It's even brushing it didn't work. No. You step on that side. All right, now step on this side. Well, I mean, if it. Is there soap in that? Looks like a tiny it. bit of soap. Tiny bit of soap. Yeah, look at the cloth. Oh, what's my? Is that's not the emus, is it? No, it's birds up that way. Ah. Uh. Almost sound like hermits. They do a little bit. So over there is a pair of emus, pretty tame. Very tame. Very tame. They get hand, they're hand raised. So there's one of them here. Another guy up that way, we are over there yesterday, actually hand feeding them, which was pretty cool. So how's this coming along better? Oh, 100%. It's uh, nice and peaceful here this time of day. Don't know if you can see this. One thing that these big wide angle lenses are not very good at is zooming for obvious reasons. Um, the river's just down there. You can see it through the gaps. So just had breakfast at uh, at the farmhouse here in St George. Um, Yelinda stepped outside to take a call, so I'll track her down in a minute. But something they did that's um, I've only seen once before is that they'll sell um, one egg eggs on toast or one egg eggs Betty, uh, which often is what like, all you need. You know, a lot of times you go somewhere for breakfast or any kind of meal, and the, the meal servings are just too big. Um, so yeah, just the the single egg poached eggs on toast or the single egg eggs Benny um, really good perfect size pretty decent coffee too to be honest so uh, we're leaving St George this morning oh there she is so um, uh, just got a couple of quick jobs to do in town um, leaving St George and we'll be heading to Roma for lunch and possibly spending the night somewhere around Tarum I think at this stage Alright, so we've just pulled up here. Where are we? What was the name of this place called? Lake Murphy. Was it Lake Murphy, was it? Uh, I'll double check the name in a minute. It's, um, it is National Park or State Park though, so we need to actually jump online um, and book a ticket to stay here for the night. I think it's about $7 a night or something. So I've just kicked in the Starlink now so I can uh, do that before we unpack everything else. But how good is this place? We are off the beaten track here a little bit, so we're... We left Tarum heading towards Theodore. And we left that road, and it was about 12 k's of dirt road off that track. Uh, found it on Wikicamps anywhere, so it's on Wikicamps. I'll dig up the name a bit later. Um, look at this whole place to ourselves at the moment. Really spacious campsites. Um, picnic tables here in Good Nick. Uh, fireplace there. It doesn't look like there's any wood supplied, but that's okay because we still have about 50 kilos of wood from the Monday Monday Bash uh, that we didn't use that, uh, didn't use yet. So that's all still in the back of the range. So I'll be able to pull that out in a minute. We'll be able to have a fire there tonight with our own wood. But um, yeah, we saw some baby wallabies and stuff uh, on the way in. So there's plenty of those guys around. A um, bit of bird life as well. This um, this place is perfect for our last night. Uh, all right, ticket 
booked and confirmed um now we're not just going to the pub here <laughs> no i've got to cook so what's the plan for dinner we've well, got some steak yeah so i could do another poiky pot because we've still got some veggies we've got heaps of wood there's a fireplace over there we can use or yeah but can you actually get it into the fire no not really um yeah you can because the the top lifts open i'm not putting my hand in there no, well, you lift it open before you light the fire. So there's that thing on the top, and you lift that up. I think we're going to do steak and noodles. Steak and noodles? Yeah, with a hoisin sauce. All right, so do we want the web rat for that, or are you just going to use the pot on just there? Just the pot. All right. I'll be boring. Which means we don't have to actually get that much out. No. If that's the case. Well, we don't need to put the shade out because we've got enough shade. Got heaps of shade, yep. We don't have to get the, the table, out. table out because get we've got a table. table over there. Comfy chairs, mate. A couple of tables, yeah, we'll get the comfy chairs out because I reckon there'll be pretty good opportunity for some stargazing tonight, I think. Yeah. And then down that way. The is lake is the over lake. there. And there's no one else here at the moment to annoy. Yeah, I think I might. So there is a there is a walking track here which we're hoping goes to the lake which doesn't look like it's that far away how energetic are you feeling um not sure not sure just seeing here there's no caravans allowed in this space um yeah we didn't see any signs like that where we were i don't think Hello. yeah Okay, so there's some places where you can't stop. Maybe that's a Interesting. Yeah, it could be a tent area. That's a point. Um, yeah, because it's not no camping. It's no caravans and stuff. Yeah. All right, so they've got a, a gate here. I hope it's not locked. No, no, gate's not locked. Wonder what. I wonder what the gate's oh, for. To stop kids from going from the picnic area around them. Uh, Lake Murphy is this away. So I'll go and have a look and see what we can find. Look at that. So we were just walking on this path here and heard a noise. It's a little echidna. It's not a big echidna. Well, it's a big echidna, actually. Hello, dude. He's a fair lump. He's desperately trying, hoping we haven't seen him, but here yeah, we have. Wow, that's pretty special. That is not something you see every day. Hello, dude. Hey. He's looking at us thinking, oh damn it. No, oh, sorry, no, I, I spoke. Hide. I spoke. <laughs> He's hiding again. If you can't see me, I if I can't see you, you can't see me. Hello, dude. That is not something you see every day, hey. Look, he's right, like he's right next to the path here. Just heard something rustle and there we go, we'll call him Russell. <laughs> Russell the echidna. Alright, maybe we should leave him alone for a little bit, he's probably scared to death. So I've seen this um this pod's a bit turned up. Don't know what's caused that. Mildly concerned it might be uh, wild pigs. I don't know if um there could be a few in the area. So uh, I don't know if it's wild pigs causing this uh, this ground to be churned up here, but somebody's got a secret weapon handy. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> I don't think your stick's big enough. <laughs> Keep them at arm's length. You probably want something a bit bigger than that. Just need to wake them on the nose. I actually don't really know 
whether they're the kinds of things that if they heard, if they heard us coming whether they would steer clear or chase us. This path is pretty well maintained though, I mean have a look at it. I mean what's the thing about walk softly and carry a big stick? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the stick's big enough. Uh, there's some big sticks in there, check that out. This uh, It's actually a little spooky this place, you could film a good horror movie here. Oh can you stop it already? <laughs> I've just, just ruined somebody's night's sleep haven't I? <laughs> right, so now I have no sleep tonight. <laughs> oh dear. The you can hear the wind leaves. through the trees, yeah. Yeah, well, we won't be walking this at night, that's for sure. Ooh. Ouch. <laughs> See? Stick's big enough. I think we're nearly there. Mm. It um, wasn't that much of a walk, really. <laughs> Famous last words, we might come over this rise and still find we've got, like, between here and Mordor to go. <laughs> Here we go. Lake Murphy, so they tell me. It's that trunk over there. Yeah. It's the middle of nowhere. Is that a helicopter I can hear? Sounds like it. I've heard a few splashes, haven't seen anything yet. Yeah, I've seen three jumps up. I kind of get the feeling that it's actually quite shallow out there for quite a distance, like it might not be very deep. As you look at the, the way the land is here, like it's a pretty gentle slope, and you can see, you know, reeds and everything out there. This might be a kind of fairly large but quite shallow lake. Uh, now, do you remember where we came in? Oh, there's the path there. <laughs> I was just looking at that thinking, ah, uh, where do we come from? See the gap in the trees through there. It's not moving. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes. No, the vehicle's oh, here, it's undisturbed. Car's still there. Car's still there. Oh, have you got some birds, have you? Yeah. Um, I don't think I have at the moment. Well, I just walked, like, you've oh, walked you just, the whole Yeah, time. that's right, you just sort of went, went bush a bit to check out that leaf. You should have leafed it alone. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> So what is it? Day 28 of our trip. Can you believe that? Day 28? So this is our final morning. Um, heading off home after we pack up here. So I'm so still here this morning. Ah, breakfast time. What do we got? Another experiment, would you believe? <laughs> surprise, surprise. Frittata. Never made frittata before, but I have an idea of how it's made. So, so it's a potato within, you reckon? A potato-based omelette thing. That's the official terminology. So yeah. that's my potato, sweet potato, potato, onion. And that's egg in that one. And that's the egg. Egg and top. Milk. Yep. And um, look at there, some chili. Chuck the chili in with the egg mix. Now we'll go see how this works. Because experiments. It's a thing that happens. So what happens first? You fry up. Fry up the base that stuff. Bit. Yeah. And then compact it down a bit. Pour the egg over the top, 
and then let it sit, mm -hmm. I think. Anyway, today is day 28, final day of the trip. Yep. Uh, back I'm home this afternoon. To my bed. <laughs> and a shower. <laughs> Camp and my coffee machine. Camp showers are not quite as good as a real shower. No. Um, and I've got a coffee machine at home that's calling me out as well. <laughs> Hopefully there's, uh, I'm sure there's beans to leave. I must have gestured to it to take a photo, because if you do that, it, there we go, it's taking a photo now. But it's still shooting the video. <laughs> All right, okay, interesting. So that's a wrap for Monday, Monday. I'm looking at the wrong... <laughs> that's a wrap for 2000... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about the outtakes. Oh, boy. <coughs> Why is this so hard? <coughs> Coffee's empty, that's why. <coughs> All right. So that is a wrap for Monday, Monday 2024. I've got the year right and everything. <laughs> oh, boy. Thanks for um, following along with us. Um, I don't know what the next expedition is yet. Well. We will figure that out and you'll know when we know. There'll be much arguing. <laughs> All right. See you in the next one. Cheers. All right. Oh, it's taking a photo again. <laughs>